your office to get you booted out and all that. I am told that the candle to use in worship is the color black. So your enemies will be knocking their head together and among themselves, they will be exposing each other. And again, don't forget, you start your prayers with the Psalms 51, 91, and then your requests will follow. Okay, Uncle James, red, like everybody says, signifies passion. Please tell us about red again. Uh, red candle is used for love, love, health, health sex, sex, and strength. Okay, love, health, sex, and strength. So in these aspects, I want a husband, I want a wife, I want good health, I want the sex bit, how does the sex bit coming? Uh, what a good is, you have to have the strength. Strength, okay. Okay, to have sex with your partner, is that it? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So for love, sex, strength, and wealth. So this is like everything about love is about the red candle. So how do I use the red candle, Uncle James? Uh, as like a young man or a young girl who wants to get married, mm. and he sees us, mm -hmm. he goes to fasting, fasting, with prayers, and prayer, and pray with the candle, right, and ask your request. The creator who created you should grant your request. You understand me? Absolutely. Continue doing this in pharmacy one or two months. Pray every day. Every day. You will surely. You will surely get a wife? Surely, surely get a husband? God is not sleep. He doesn't sleep. He must remember. He will surely provide you what you want. Don't make your pre minded that, oh, John is the person, he's working at the bank. So God should give me John. It is more like that. Bear your mind free. Because there may be somebody who's better than John. Yes. And don't, don't cohabit with somebody. Then you are saying that God should give you somebody. You understand me? Mm -hmm. If I want to marry, then I have you as my girlfriend. Then I have married you. Know? Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So I don't need if I said God should give me a, a wife. Which, Which wife again are we talking about? So you should be absolutely spotless. spotless. Wonderful. You understand me? Through and that. after the one or two months of months. prayer, we will God, see a sign. God will show if your heart is clean and what you are doing that, you will see. How many days should we fast, Uncle James? No. Fasting, you can fast at any time. Okay. But even two months, three months, five, according to your desire. So you can decide to say, I'm fasting three days straight. Yes. And yes. then for the, for the next one month, I'm challenging God. But when you see, the problem of people is. When they need something, they go to God. You understand me? Mm -hmm. You don't do that. Prayers and going to God is a constant like food that you eat. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anybody who wants to go for the examination. And he won't learn. But the day that he's going to the examination, he carried the whole book to learn. Will he pass? Mm -hmm. If you're constant, constant, doing something that brings all the genes, that is Absolutely. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, all the single ladies out there, all the single men out there, the color for you, if you want love in your life, you want good health, you want, well, you want love, the color for you is red. And I'm told, you fast, you can choose any day at all to fast, or how many times you want to fast, it's entirely up to you. But your heart has to be clean, and uh, just, you know, put across your request and challenge God. Within a month or two, you definitely, definitely, right, see something. This is the power of candle burning when it comes to um, um, colors and when it comes to prayer. But we are told that, or you told me, again, you told me, that when you light a candle and you're praying, when the candle moves a certain way, then it signifies that there's another supernatural being in the room with you. So I'm going to light a candle right now. Right now, supernatural being may not be here because we are not praying. So let me let me light the red. <laughs> I'm lighting the red candle right now. Okay, so Uncle James, how will, when we are praying with the candle, what, what direction of the flame will tell us that something is happening? As you are praying, you see a sign. 
Sometimes you see that they can't even go straight, straight up the thin line. Thin line. It doesn't happen to any, uh, any ordinary time. thing. They can't even go straight, straight, straight on sheet. Like that, very thin. Straight. Like, like a needle at the top. Then it means something is around. Something. No pressure. If you pray well, you will see there's so many signs happened. You understand me? There are so many signs happened. The prayer, Jesus has told the people how to pray. Also, if you want to pray, go to your room, in your room, close your doors in windows and pray. James, today you've been so priceless with your words to us. So priceless. He has this prayer book that I've been, you know, he, he gave me a copy. And I'll be giving out free copies. If you're watching me right now, I'll be giving out some free copies of this prayer book. Apparently there are days, you know, prayers for every day of the week, every day of the month. Prayers for morning and evening, how to face south, how to face east, how to face west, how to face north, to pray and how to invoke angels and into your day before your day starts. Everything inside this book. When I read it, I just had so much fun reading it. So I give out some copies to viewers who are watching me right now. All you have to do is just go on my Facebook page and tell me that I watched the show today and I want to book and I'll do that for you. So. Our candles for today, green, yellow, red, blue, white, and we talked about black as well. And James, what do you have to say to somebody who says that all this is not Christian-like? It's an occultic practice. They like using that word a lot, occultic. That word occult is misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Those who are called themselves a doctor, this, 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 and they are not educated, not in so so because that occult, we went to old schools, so we know the semantic of the meanings of the word. Mm -hmm. Occult meaning secret, hidden, something which is hidden. Occultism is from word occult, meaning hidden, something which is hidden. If your handkerchief is in your pocket, and I don't know, it's occult. It is not it's a, like a sorcery. Secret, a secret. secret. You understand me? We have sorcery that is evil doing. When somebody is a witch or wizard and he developed, he became a sorcerer. That's meant from occultism. Occultism. You say, occultism is from the word occult, meaning just hidden. hidden. I see. That's all. Really? That, that is all. Uncle James, I have one quick question to ask you. Before, before I was going to wrap up, but then again, the question keeps, keeps coming in. We are told that when, you're, when you want to fast, it doesn't matter whether you're married or not. It's important to stay off sex. Is it true? Yeah, you see, there is a law. There's a law. Everything is about law. Yes, because if you want to fast, you want to purify yourself, let your wife understand that this is what you are doing. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And it won't, it won't worry you. You are purifying yourself, so you should let the wife know. You are being the sex that way. You are purifying yourself to get something from God. Okay. You understand? So the sex won't help you help to purify you. yourself. Even your strength, because sex in the sex is because of your strength. If you are doing sex in medicine, you lose a lot of strength. strength. So you can't concentrate yes. on what it is that you want. Because sometimes you are doing a machine, 21 years faster. Every day you are a woman. Every day, for the strength, you will fall down and kaput. still talking about we've talked extensively about candles and its significance and Uncle James says that before you use any candle to pray you have to purify it so he's going to teach us how to purify the candle before prayers there are two options I'm told you can either use an anointing oil or this is just a bowl with ordinary water and then salt yeah. right so what do I do with the salt Uncle James? pour the salt inside me okay so I'm pouring the salt inside the water then you mix it. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Would you say anything when you're when you're the, is dissolving? Yeah, when you have dissolved, okay. Mm -hmm. So now, what do I do? Now, because mm -hmm. you have used some mm -hmm. fifty-one mm -hmm. and some uh, ninety-one. I have to I have to pray. I have to pray and use some fifty-one mm -hmm. and some ninety-one. Yes. After I dissolve the salt. Yes. So, in the name of the Father, mm -hmm. the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. The name of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today has been very, very, very interesting and very eye opening for all of us. We have learned about candles. We have learned that there are different angels that rule the day. We have learned that if you want to pray, you have to pray every three hours. You can start from morning seven. You can then you go to, let me check my time correctly. You can either start from seven. After seven, you can pray at 10. You can pray at 1 p.m. You can pray at 4 p.m., 7 p.m. So every three hours, because that is when the angels come on duty. So that is when you're likely to get your prayers answered quickly. And Uncle James will take us through again. The color white is for purity. Yes. Right? If you want to purify yourself before anything, you feel that you're not worthy or you've done something that needs purification, the color white is what you use. So if you feel some people are angry at you or you yourself, you can't control your anger, you need anger management, or you feel that some people are jealous of you and you want to check it. The candle to use to pray is the color yellow. Okay, so if you want money, you want lots of luck. Those of you who want children as well. Women, you want to be fertile. Men, you want to be fertile. The candle of choice to use is the color green. Tranquility, patience, and health. You have a family member who is sick. Or you yourself, within you, you're not at peace, or you're sick, or anything, you want peace of mind in your life, you light the color blue candle. And the black candle, <laughs> which got all my crew laughing, if you feel your enemies are, you know, planning against you, or they're conspiring, you're in your job, your office, you think that they are conspiring to get you uh, sacked, or anything like that, the candle of choice is black. And then, to everybody's favorite color, the color red, Uncle James? Love. Health, sex, and strength. Okay. So you want love in your life. You want that special man, that special woman, anything. Use the color red. So challenge yourself. I want a husband. I want a wife. Within one month, do all the right things. And let's see what happens. And today I've also been taught, or we've all been taught, that the movement of the candle also signifies that a, super, a supernatural being or uh, an Amazing. angel is in a, an angel is around. So if you find your candle going way up, very thin, way, 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 way up, then it means something special is happening in the room and you have to intensify your prayers you. for talking to us. It's been a real pleasure. And we hope to see you again very soon. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank and thank you for watching the Supernatural segments with me today. I will be needing lots of the red and the green because I want lots of love and lots of money in my life. So until next time, I'll bring you more supernatural stuff. Keep watching the show.